I've had some questions as to how I color lines in a drawing. I've already chosen this drawing and I've got it to the right size for 1080p up here and I'm using 600 resolution. So let's start at the antenna here. We bring up the navigator and let me increase the size of that a little bit, a little easier to work with. Now I want to color this. So, and we're on this layer here, which is the drawing. I want to choose an ellipse and let's feather that 10. Now I'm going to draw an ellipse over this. And let me center that a little bit. I'm just arrowing it over. Okay. Now I'm going to do a control C which will copy that into the buffer. And I'm going to go up here and say make a new layer via copy. Okay, now what that did is that's all we have in it and notice that it is feathered. Okay, I'm going to turn on the drawing and let's fill layer. Now we're still in the top layer with a color. I don't want red, let's use blue. Okay, 100% will be good. All right, it's feathered. That looks nice. Now I could change the opacity here, but I want a more gradual look to this, so I'm going to go up to filter here and I'm going to use Gaussian Blur. And I can change the amount of blur. Well, actually, that looks pretty good right there. Okay. Now, creating a new layer, that allows me to turn things on and off as I need them. So I'm going to turn this off right now. Click on Layer 2 which is this drawing now. So now we're back on this drawing. Let me increase this a little bit. Let's see here. Yeah, that looks good. Now I want the rectangle. No feather on this. Now I'm going to choose this line right here. bit more right there is good. Control C again. Another new layer via copy. And that's this one right here. This time to color that line I'm going to ask for levels. And I need to connect these two together so I'm going to hold down the Alt key and then click right in the center. Now what that has done that is linked these two levels together. And now I can choose a color here. Let's continue with blue. And if I slide this over you can see that the line turns blue. Let me move that back now if I move the other one in the other direction, we get an outline of a yellow. Yellow is the opposite or inverse of blue in photography. Oops. I want to move the... Oops. 
there we go grab it that way we want a blue line so we'll leave it like that now we can put the blur back in so now I got complete control of this okay so that's our incoming signal into the grid now what I want to do is show the oscillator input which is the control grid right here first thing I gotta do is get back on the drawing level which is right here let me turn these others off there we go okay so now I'm going to continue doing the same thing okay we bring up the navigator here okay now if I hold down the shift key see a little positive there I can add to that come all the way down we need to go through that capacitor and let's take in this also that is the oscillator still holding down the shift key okay now I got too much of that now see I've got a minus sign there that's the alt key I'm gonna get rid of that arrow that's good and the top of that B that's good enough But I want to, this is the main, I might as well get the trimmer while I'm here. Shift key. There we go. Alt key. Get rid of that T. There we go. And I might as well capture that capacitor. There we go. Same thing. Control C. New layer. Via copy. And level. link the two together this time I'm going to choose green and let's do I can also type in the number I want 160 I can remember that. Okay. Now let's see what it looks like. Bring up the navigator here. Okay. That looks good. Let's bring up the other two. Okay. So that's how I color lines in these drawings. I'll continue with this and make a video on signal flow through a All-American 5 radio. 
Thanks for watching.